Tashu is traditionally skewered in a long fork and then roast in an oven. My version is not as complicated, but the taste is beyond it. I'm sure you're gonna fall in love with it. Hi all my foodies, it's me again, Cece. So many of you really love my chashu recipe that I did previously. And many of you asked me this question, can you add different seasonings in it? The answer is yes. On top of the basic seasonings, you can add the taste that you like also. So today I'm gonna share with you another super awesome chashu recipe. First, we're gonna use the fork to lightly stab all over the pork. This will help to tenderize the meat. At the same time, when you marinate the meat, it will develop deeper flavors. Then in a bowl, we're gonna add all the seasonings. Traditionally, Chinese uses red yeast rice for the red color, but when you use fermented bean curd, it will also do the job at the same time it adds more flavors to it. Now add in the rest of the ingredients, like ginger, garlic, and mix well. Now also put in the scallions, cilantro stems, and charlotte, and mix well. Transfer the pork into a large Ziploc bag. Now pour in the marinade. And then just kind of massage it uh, all over. We're gonna marinate it in the fridge for overnight. Um, you can kind of turn the back around it after maybe four to six hours. On the second day, we want to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also cover the baking pan with aluminum foil. So when you wrap it up, your roasting pan won't get dirty. It just makes everything easier. Then we're going to place the pork on a roasting rack. Uh, and pour the rest of the marinade sauce into a bowl. Um, and we're going to use the sauce later. Transfer the pork into the oven and bake for 30 minutes under 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we can remove the roasting pan from the oven. Brush the marinade sauce all over. Turn the pork and then brush the marinade sauce on the other side as well. Now we're going to place the roasting pan in the oven again. Um, bake for another 30 minutes under 400 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, in a small saucepan, we're going to add um, the ingredients for the syrup. Stir until dissolved. It's gonna be really quick. Uh, you just cook it on low heat. Take out the roasting pan and we're gonna brush the syrup all over the pork on this side. Turn the pork again and then brush the syrup onto this side as well. Now we're gonna place the roasting pan back in the oven and Bake for another 20 minutes under 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So now finally we can take out our pork. Um, and now I'm just gonna wait until the chashu is a little cool down. And then I'm gonna slice it into bite-sized pieces. Okay. 
The cashew is so heavenly. Um, it has a little char taste on the outside and then on the inside it's just so juicy. Oh my god, this is so good. Between Cantonese chashu and Japanese chashu, which one do you like better? Comment below and let me know. And just in case if you like this Japanese chashu too, you can check out my website at cclee.tv for the full recipe or you can also click on the link right here. Okay, so remember to subscribe, thumbs up. I'll see you again soon. Bye!